Bridging Ages is an international organization that is in about 22 countries all over the world and that people from uh, universities and museums, NGOs, working together. And the focus is on, on the use of local um, history and local heritage. How can we use local history, local heritage for the benefits of, of the society? And uh, we have an international conference every year. The head office of um, uh, Bridging Ages is at Kalmar uh, County Museum in Sweden. And the conference last year was in, in America, in the US, in New Mexico. And this year it was chosen uh, to be the conference in northern Kenya, in a small place called Ngurunet. And the reason why we are in Ngurunet is actually we've had um, a project here for four years now. And the focus uh, is on mathematics, the use of mathematics and history in education and how that can benefit the uh, community. And there are two pilot places in, in Kenya, and that is this small place in Gurunet, a remote area. And we also have a pilot place in western Kenya. It's quite a big town, Kisumu. And this project is together between Kenyatta University and National Museums of Kenya on one side, and Linnaeus University and the Kalma County Museum on the other side. So at one of the workshops a few years ago, there were one saying, we must have the Bridging Edges Conference here. <laughs> and I thought, uh, this will be very difficult. It will never happen, I thought, because this is a remote place. And actually, there's never been any international conference in the whole of northern Kenya. So why would it be possible to have a conference here? But they were stubborn. Um, these people from uh, Ngurunet, they formed uh, a group, they call it Bridging Ages Northern Kenya, and they prepare for, for the conference. And one and a half year ago it was decided the international conference is going to be here. So we planned for it quite a lot from Bridging Ages International, from Kenyatta University, National Museum, Linnaeus University, and of course the host here, Bridging Ages no uh, Northern Kenya and Masabit County. So at the end we were about 40 people from outside of Kenya and, all to, uh, and about 100 people from different parts, parts of Kenya and then the local community. So all together like 175 people here in, in this place and maybe 200 even in the time travel. Um, so we've been here now for three days, we've had um, presentations, we had discussions and because this is a place without electricity, this is, there is no power, there is no possibility for powerpoints, we decided to make it like a workshop conference. This is not just talking, this is finding solutions, this is creativity. And the topic uh, is um, heritage education and community building. Community building and our heritage and education can support local communities like Ngurunet, like any community in other parts of the world, like the small communities in Sweden. Uh, and we discussed that and we come actually after three days of group discussions and a lot of ideas, a lot of pr presentation, we come up with some quite interesting ideas I would say. And one is that it's so important that um, education is supported and is using local heritage, local experiences. And this goes for any country. And also that um, the forming of um, community heritage centers is important. It, it's not a, a university or museum who's in charge of, of heritage. It's the local community to needs to take ownership. Um, and that goes, of course, for, for Kenya, that goes for, for any other country. Mm -hmm.